Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see the web design part, uh, which is that we have to design a card. So before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Also do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get into the video. So in previous video, we have designed till our menu. So in this video, we are going to see about this card session, which is coupon and discounts. So let's see how to do this. Let's open the code first. So this is, let's close, close this page. So here we have section one and section two. Now we are going to work with section three. So let's tell section dot section. So it will add a class. So here just give section three. And here tell container row column md12 and inside this column md12 in an h5 tag let's tell this as coupons and discounts so cool let's see coupons and so let's copy this coupons and discount and paste it here okay now if you see that we have uh, different colors for uh, discount so just add discount in a span tag before that add a class here as text center so it will align the text to the center text center and after this and use a span tag until class is equal to text color is with the color that we have given so give text color and paste this discount or cut this plan and paste it after discount so you will get it aligned in a proper way so let's go reload here you can scroll down you have got this but we want a little bit down so what we'll do is here let's give margin top as 5 for the container so you have got it little bit down so this is fine now next that is we want the underline so underline we have discussed in previous videos and all so what i am going to do is i will just copy paste this underline code from here so copy this underline code and paste it after this h5 tag reload so you will get the underline as well next thing is that we have to design this card type section for this card you can just go to get bootstrap or else you can design by your own as well so let's quickly do that so after this row let's close this row and create another row which is row and tell column md so we want four cards so 12 divide 3 is 4 right so 12 so we are going to divide the column into three equal parts which means that we'll get the four cards so inside this we are going to tell card card body okay and here i'll add a p tag and the similar text i'll copy paste it from here so i'm copying this text and pasting it here let me reload and you have got the card with some text here let's give a margin bottom also as 5 so that you can clearly see margin bottom 5 here you go you have got one card here but it is not as exact as this card right so here there is some style to this and here we have another p tag and this text is muted so what we'll do first is we'll add a class to this p tag which is class is equal to and tell this as text text muted and after that we have one more p tag which is for the discount purpose so let's copy this 100 percent off on first order and paste it here okay done and for card we should add the shadow so add this class which is card shadow so when you reload what happens is it will look with some tile that has been added to that card so now we have got it exactly how it is the next thing is that we have to do it for three more cards so the simple way to do that is inside this row you have this card right so let's copy this paste it three more times that's it
So I'm not gonna change the text which is there here. It is going to be the same text for all the four cards. If you want to change, you can change it. Here the card is little bit towards, I mean little bit top to the underline. So we have to make it little bit down, right? For that, for this card, you can just add a margin, a margin top of two or inside this column or inside this row also you can add. For this row, give a margin top of 3. I think 3 or 2 should be fine. Let's go reload and check. Okay, now this is got like this. Let's reload. Checking, I'm not gonna give fear. Let's reload. And now, let us add for this row margin top as 5. Now let's go reload. Okay, now it is little bit more down, so you can reduce it accordingly. I'm gonna give with two, and I'll reload. So I think two is fine. If you want three, you can give the three also. So yeah, that's it in this video, guys. We have achieved this design. And here in previous thing, if you can see, there is a space here between this and this. That is nothing but we have to add the margin bottom as well, so that it will be in a correct alignment so let's add a margin bottom to that container which is margin top we have here i think this is the thing and i'm gonna add a margin bottom of three now let me reload this page did i add it in the correct place i have given for the row which is here our menu let me take this here i have a column margin bottom three let me give five okay for that the other alternative is you can inspect and check here i have a row right let me add margin margin bottom 3 pixel so this isn't working guys I don't know why is it working so it is working there ok it is working guys for the card for the card which is there in section 2 for card for all the card just add margin bottom of 5 now reload this page which is here so you have got that spacing so if you want something like this you have to be very careful that you are going to do the exact same thing the spacing and all i think you can adjust the requirement that you need i've just done this design here so that's it in this video i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion please do let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and see you guys in, with the next video